Welcome to this short video on Petrus's connectivity. Today we'll be looking at the benefits of working directly with third-party applications and data stores using Petrus. If we take a look at our first benefit, Petrus is, is able to read and write data from the industry's principal interpretation software, making Petrus the most powerful aggregator of data available. We can demonstrate this from our Petrus map. If we open up one of our maps that use, uses multi-connected layers, we can change the display order to a data source and we can see here that we have a range of layers displayed from a Petrel project including wells, seismic and faults. We also have a range of layers displayed from our Kingdom project which includes wells and seismic and we also have some shape files and a web map feed uh, coming from a government organization across the internet. If we expand on one of our well layers, in this case the data is coming from Petrel, but we could also be accessing data directly from Geoframe, Geographics, Openworks, Petrel and Kingdom to name a few. If we do the same with one of our seismic layers, in this case 2D seismic, we, could be dis we can display data from a range of sources including Finder, Openworks, Petrel, Sizeworks and Kingdom to name a few. This is 2D seismic data. We can also display interpretation and navigation from 3D um, sources as well. Now the advantage of being able to display all this data in one mapping application is that from a user's point of view I can access data from multiple data sources without having to import anything into my uh, interpretation or modeling software that I use uh, for most of my tasks. I can also access data as soon as it's available and I don't need to wait for it to be loaded into my preferred application. If we have a look at our next benefit, Petrus is able to save all gridded surfaces directly to Petrel, Openworks or Paradigm without the need for third-party connectors. So if we open up our surface modeling module, we can demonstrate this in more detail. In this task, we're gridding up uh, interpretation from a Kingdom project and outputting a Petrus grid file. We're then going to take this grid file and write it directly into our Petrel project. We could also be writing this grid directly into our Paradigm or Openworks Patrol uh, projects. We could also take grids from other sources including ArcSD, Geoframe, Openworks, Petra and Rescue files and write these directly into your Patrol project so it's not just limited to Petrus formats. We also have full control over what the surface is called in Patrol, what folder it goes into and how we deal with the units. Do we need to convert the units or scale them uh, for some reason. So we go ahead and run this task. You can see we connect our Kingdom project, create our grid and then write this directly to Petrel. So we, here we can see that our, our Petrus grid is now available to us in Petrel for any modeling purposes. If we expand this grid or have a look at the information tab we can also see that Petrus has transferred a certain amount of metadata including the data source, in this case Kingdom, um, the, the name of the Kingdom project, the horizon that we use, in this case Vola, and the interpreter, and the data type. So there's metadata that follows that Petrus grid into Petrel to give it some context. Now the advantage of doing this is that you can take grids built in Petrus from multi-connected data sources and then have them available to you in your preferred modeling software. This software might not, norm in this case Betrayal, might not normally have had easy access to this kingdom interpretation or, uh, or a grid. And if it did, it may have taken some convoluted route via ASCII transfer and coordinate conversion, which in itself has inherent uh, uncertainty and potential error to be introduced. But using Petrus, this was a simple two-stage process, and I now have my grid available to me in Betrayal. We have a look at our next benefit. Petrus is adding new links all the time. We respond to customer requests 
and we're very quick to get the latest versions running. If we have a look at the next slide, we have a, a subset of some of the applications and databases we connect to just to demonstrate we do support the latest versions of these applications. However, we do support also the older versions of these applications. So say you need to roll back to an older version of Petrel, you know um, that your existing Petrel workflows and connectivity will be maintained. We have a look at our next advantage. Petrosys is designed to recognize and convert data from source CRS to map or project CRS on the fly with robust custom coordinate reference system specification available. Again, if we go to our mapping, uh, our mapping area and select relevant map, instead of looking at the data sources this time, we'll have a look at the coordinate reference systems being used in this one map. So we have a range of data being displayed from AD50 UTM Zone 31, and this data resides in that coordinate reference system. So this includes data from our Petrel project and our web map service feed. There's data in pure lat long coordinates, VD50. These are two shape files. And we also have data that resides in WGS84, UTM Zone 31 North. This is our our kingdom data. All the time we're mapping this data in ED50 TM at zero degrees as you can see at the bottom of our mapping window here highlighted by my mouse. So what we do is we're taking three different coordinate systems or um, versions of coordinate systems and we're pitch this as coordinate converting this data from source on the fly using our own coordinate routines and industry standard EPSG coordinate definitions and reprojected all this data into our map sheet CRS. So there's no import or uh, manual coordinate conversion involved here. It's all done uh, on the fly. Importantly, Petrosys also allows you to create custom coordinate reference systems. So you can take any of our existing EPSG coordinate systems coordinate system definitions and we can create uh, new pairings between a geographic CRS and a projection system or you can complete uh, make completely new um, custom geographic or projection systems and use these in mapping and modeling. We also allow you to specify custom uh, coordinate system transformations as well. An important thing to note is that Petrosys also allows you to specify your geographic CRS transformation separate to your project default. So we don't bundle a geographic transformation between, in this case, ED50 and WGS84 with our project default. We can specify this completely independently of what we selected in the last screen. So in here, I know that I need to convert from WGS84 to ED50. And in this case, I've picked um, projection number 18, but I could pick any of the other EPSG transformations that are available to us. So the advantages of, uh, of Petrosys and our robust coordinate reference system handling is that we can build regional grids um, from a range of different data sources and different coordinate reference systems, but also some of our clients use Petrosys mapping to QC um, data before performing data conversion. So say for example I, w I was taking this kingdom navigation interpretation and I was loading it into a master uh, data store, so something like Finder. What I can do is overlay the two uh, the two data sources on my Petrosys map and I have a quick and uh, a quick and easy spatial QC on the success of that data loading process. If we go back and have a look at our next benefit, Petrosys offers simultaneous cross-platform connectivity from Linux and PC. This next slide shows the range of different applications on both Linux and Windows that Petrosys can access, including OpenWorks and SizeWorks on Linux and Petrel and Kingdom on Windows. One of the advantages Petrosys gives you is that we can actually access data from Linux on Windows. So for example, you could be working with a Petrel project on Windows in conjunction with Petrosys, but you could also map and model 
well tops from open works or seismic and interpretation from size works at the same time so it gives you the ability to map and model disparate data sources that normally would require some sort of loading to get them cross platform and into your different interpretation systems this next slide just shows an example of what I've just said we could in this example we're mapping uh, we're mapping wells from OpenWorks alongside wells from a Kingdom database and in this case it was used to demonstrate a data loading error which had happened between the databases which resulted in, in an offset location of the wells. If we have a look at our next benefit of using Petrasys, you can use a Esri plugin to use Petrasys grids, contours and faults in ArcMap. If we go into ArcMap, you can see there's a Petrasys icon here that allows you to run Petrasys from within Arc. You can there, from there, access our surface modeling capabilities and build um, build surface modeling tasks that use um, multi-connected data sources. So, say for example, in this case, we're gridding up interpretation from Kingdom and then depth converting it. We can you can then run these tasks. And then we can take the outputs of these tasks and use them in ArcMap as native objects. If I just add this to to the display, I patch this grid, I patch this contour file, and a fault file. And here you can see they appear in Arc, and they appear in the correct location because Petrasys files contain coordinate reference system information in the header in this case it knows it's in ED50 UTM zone 31 north and Esri reads this and reprojects or projects your data in the correct location and this data isn't just uh, a picture we can interrogate it and see that we have Z values reported for the surfaces and contours so the data is actually um, relevant and useful within ArcMap. If we have a look at our next benefit, Petrasys allows the simple export of map players as spatial data for use in Petrel and working with the spatial data translator. So if we go to one of our maps, we can show how we can take items from the map, in this case a contour file, we can click on this and we can easily use this export spatial data option and write these contours directly into our Petrel project and we can also include the Z values in this export and if we view it in 3D we can see that these Z values uh, these contours do have Z values as they appear properly in 3D and therefore they're useful to us in uh, in Petrel for any uh, any modeling purposes we may have. As you may have noticed, this export only takes uh, uses the it restricts the export to the area of interest of our map. If we want to take the entire contents of a file, we can go to the Petrasys main menu and use this Exchange Spatial Data Translator option and take, say, for example, the contents of a shape file or an ArcSD layer or a file geodatabase, to name a few and we can put this directly into Petrel including coordinate conversion at runtime and all of the attributes will follow this data into Petrel we can see we very quickly there wrote 819 polygons into our Petrel project if we zoom out if I expand the licenses folder I created you can see that all of the attributes from that shapefile are actually included in our Petrel project now and are available with that data. Our clients tell us that this, uh, our tool for doing this is faster than the other solutions out there and you can also combine it with surface modeling to loop and script these tasks to write more than one file in at a time. So on screen we've just got a, a recap of our um, benefits of using Petrasys connectivity. Uh, thank you for um, watching this short video. And if MD has any questions, please um, don't hesitate to contact us and we'll aim to answer these for you.